Hello everyone. Today I'll walk you through to experience the working of Bridget. A unique and constructive technology. My name is Ali and I will take you to the world of connecting ideas and propositions. This video is about how connecting the dots of the information ecology can bridge the gaps to enable sense making on the internet with an emerging technology called Bridget. As an alternative to a web link, Bridges connect ideas on web pages with a relationship. Creates a bi-directional deep link that is co-locatable. It could be a piece of text, part of an image, a segment of a video, or an audio clip. Relationships can be supporting, contradicting, and citing. Let's go through the process of how to make a bridge. First, I identify the first piece of content, content A. The claim that I will work with and select begin bridge. Second, I research and find the second piece of content, content B. That I want to bridge to content A and select bridge it. A modal pops up and then you will select the relationship, category, and tags. When I submit a bridge it goes to a validation queue where approve validates confirm whether content A is related to content B in the relationship specified. If so, it gets put in the collective learning map, which makes the bridge available to the world of other people interested in this content. There is no limit to associating bridges with the content. Clicking the badge displays the bridges, these are the ideas that are directly related to the target content. There can be a number of bridges associated with the content. Bridges can be supported, meaning that these pieces of information are aligned, However, they can be contradicting as well, which shows us a place where the two pieces of information are in conflict. Let's look at the support of Bridge. Here is a bridge to an article published in Reuters on November 11, 2020. Elaborates that the poll workers said voters to press a button after a machine had detected an overvote. Supports the CNN report which states that some voters were confused on election day and feared that their ballots were not counted. If the vote tabulation machines classified their ballots as overvotes. Now look at the contradictory bridge. Here is a bridge to the same article saying that affected votes in Arizona could prove to be determinative for the presidential race, which contradicts with the report published in CNN, saying that the lawyers for the Trump campaign dropped the lawsuits in Arizona. This is just one example. There could be hundreds of bridges associated with a popular piece of content. I will speak to my experience. Creating bridges is not hectic or time-consuming at all. Bridges helps to understand and make sense of the mountain of information for students and teachers as well. All being said, bridging is being rolled out as a knowledge sport in 2021, which opens new horizons of research and makes it fun. Stay tuned for the Bridging Challenge, a set of topical competitions for students.